Well, hey guys, I've got a sunscreen review for you all that you have been requesting for some time. It is the um, Mineral Sunscreen by Purito, the Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50 PA4+. Purito is a K-Beauty brand, and I get the products on YesStyle. I reviewed their chemical sunscreen for you guys in the past, so I'll link that video down below for you all if you are interested in that. But this one is a mineral sunscreen. It has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, which are mineral actives in sunscreens that protect against UVB and UVA. UVB are those rays that burn the skin and UVA is what destroys our collagen, ages our skin, and also contributes along with UVB to the formation of skin cancers. You all know that I love trying out different K-Beauty products, but my major reservation with the majority of them is that they have added fragrance. But this product, as well as their other sunscreen that I'll review for you all, does not. So that from the get-go gets a thumbs up. This product is also great in that it has uh, Centella Asiatica in it. Centella Asiatica, or the Asiatic Pennywort, is a botanic ingredient that has been shown to be helpful for uh, potentially facilitating wound healing. And it's rich in antioxidants. Whether or not those antioxidants actually are going to get into your skin though, in a product like this, mm, I'm a little bit skeptical. I've told you all in the past that antioxidants and sunscreens don't really get into our skin because sunscreens form a film on the surface of the skin and therefore antioxidants within the formulation are kind of lifted up and aren't allowed to enter the skin. So it's not always the most logical thing to include them in products that are sunscreens. Now, uh, this product also has niacinamide, an ingredient that is anti-inflammatory, helpful for redness. And we have studies showing that niacinamide can actually improve wrinkles and fine lines. I reviewed niacinamide for you guys before and in a more recent video reviewing the Polish Choice Niacinamide Serum. So check that out for more details on niacinamide. The main strengths though of this sunscreen are that it's a mineral sunscreen that is free of added fragrance. The niacinamide and the Centella Asiatica I think are helpful in creating a product that is soothing, anti-inflammatory, helpful for irritation and calming down redness, but no, don't necessarily bank on a sunscreen like this delivering active ingredients to your skin. They really don't do that. Uh, they, they just, those ingredients just kind of help at the surface level where those film forming agents are going to work to make a protective shield. Outside of the active sunscreen ingredients, zinc and titanium dioxide, and the niacinamide and centella, this product actually has very few ingredients overall. And interestingly, it is free of any sort of oils. It is an oil-free formulation. So if you have oily, acne-prone skin, I really think that you are going to love this. What I think you are also going to love about this product, regardless of your skin type, is the fact that while it's a mineral sunscreen, this sunscreen really does not leave much of a cast whatsoever. I'm currently wearing it now and I don't have any tinted sunscreen on over it. I will insert clips over me talking right now of me putting this on so you can actually see it. I know my glasses and hair are probably obscuring things as well as the artificial lighting in here, but I have a clip of me in natural lighting uh, in front of a window so you can get a good sense of how it goes on the skin. It is basically a white cream and putting it on the skin, it's very comfortable. It doesn't burn or sting. Sunscreens that tend to burn and sting the skin are those that have chemical filters, particularly avobenzone, oxybenzone, those sting a lot. This one doesn't sting whatsoever. It doesn't have those ingredients. It's very sensitive skin friendly, great around the eyes. It does not burn or cause any irritation around the eyes. Obviously make sure you don't put it, get it into your eyes but it's very safe around the eyes and to all surfaces. It's really um, pretty lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy or greasy. And it also stays on the skin in place really nicely in that it doesn't ball up or do that pilling thing or rolling around. So if you, uh, when you reapply it or if you reapply other sunscreens on top of it, you're not gonna get that kind of questionable rolly pilly stuff that often can happen. Unfortunately, this product is not water resistant, so I would not encourage you to use a product like this if you're going to be outdoors for a prolonged period of time. Uh, the reason is that sunscreens rub off of our skin, that's why they need to be reapplied. But when you're outdoors for a prolonged period of time, it's really a good idea to use a water resistant one because it affords a little bit more insurance as far as the layer that you have on being intact 
in between applications. No, it doesn't mean that the product still doesn't rub off, but in between reapplications, you have a little bit more assurance. And that's important when you are outside participating in outdoor activities. But for everyday purposes, I think this is a fantastic sunscreen. I really have no issue with it whatsoever. Obviously, it would be nice if it were water resistant, but you can have everything. It's great that it's free of added fragrance. I think this is very oily skin friendly, very acne skin friendly, and very rosacea and sensitive skin friendly. It's really just friendly. In terms of the cast, also super friendly for many skin types, not all. I won't, I won't get your hopes up too high. If you have a darker, darker skin type, you can see how this looks on my, my face up close here in natural lighting. There is, I mean, you can see that there's something on my skin. So if you have a darker skin type, that's obviously gonna have a white chalkiness to it. But because the sunscreen doesn't pill or ball, it's definitely the kind of thing that you could put a BB cream on over and take advantage of the tint in the BB cream to, to camouflage some of that white cast while still having while still having the good protection overall. I think, yeah, you know, as far as mineral sunscreens, I would recommend this for a darker skin type to consider. Um, obviously your best bet is going to be choosing a tinted mineral sunscreen if you have a darker skin type, but uh, you know, using something like this and then trying it out with a BB cream or something to mask whatever white flashback you do have that doesn't suit your skin tone, I think is another great option. If you have seborrheic dermatitis or what you describe as fungal acne, which is, these are skin conditions related to that little yeast that lives on the surface of the skin, malassezia, and a lot of people um, experience problems with products that have natural oils in them that have those skin conditions because that little yeast thrives in oily environments, particularly like sunflower seed oil, olive oil, those types of oils potentially can exacerbate these skin conditions. So this product doesn't have any of those in it and therefore it's a good choice if you are looking for a sunscreen and you have seborrheic dermatitis or, or fungal acne. I think you'll get along well with this. The other nice thing about this, just in terms of how it feels, it's not sticky. I'm wearing my hair down right now and you know, I've got a fan going in here, so I've got little hair wisps that blow around and they're not sticking to my face. And so I like that about it. It's really comfortable to wear and it breathes really well. You don't feel like you have a big film on your face. So I think it's a great one. If you have just been frustrated with the feel of sunscreens, they feel greasy, sticky, tacky, filmy, try this one. It's very comfortable. A major issue that you can run into with many mineral sunscreens is that they often feel a little drying and tight. Uh, I don't know if you all have experienced that. I know many of you have, you've commented that before, and I too have. That is not the case with this product. It's really smart, the overall formulation. It is largely water-based, so I was expecting it might be more drying, but it's got glycerin and humectant to help hold some of that water there, and then it's got some occlusive wax alcohols in it that will seal in transepidermal water loss. And therefore, I think overall the vehicle serves as a nice moisturizer. A lot of people ask me about layering different moisturizers with their sunscreen. Sometimes just keep it simple and realize that the majority of sunscreens are moisturizers. So just stick with the sunscreen. You can consider this sunscreen coral reef friendly. It does not have any nanoparticles in it or chemical filters. We have laboratory studies with nanoparticles and laboratory studies with chemical filters that suggest that these ingredients might interfere with the vitality and health of the, uh, of the reefs. Some states have even put bans in place for some of these ingredients. And uh, so if you wanna choose a sunscreen that will go over okay in those areas and is quote unquote considered safe, uh, this is a good one to, to choose. It, it, it will do you just fine. Unfortunately, not water resistant. So if you're going to one of those places and you're out at the beach, I wouldn't rely on this. But check out my video on coral reef friendly sunscreens. Um, there are more options that I list there. So yeah, really like this sunscreen. Comment below, those of you who have used it, how you like it. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.